Hi there and welcome. My name is Sam Vrubel and I am a paper cutting artist. Today we are going to make a rainbow collage like this one. This video is part of the Acadiana Center for the Arts online series, Virtual Art Studio, where teaching artists like myself present lessons in visual arts, dance, music, and more that you can enjoy from anywhere. So today we're gonna to talk about all of the colors of the rainbows and which ones are primary colors and which ones are secondary colors. And we're gonna think about each and every color and then we're gonna go on a scavenger hunt through magazines and pick out items of each color in the rainbow. Then we're gonna paste them down in order just like this. So this class is airing in the month of June, and June is known as Pride Month. Rainbows are the symbol of pride, so I bet you will see a lot of them around this month. Rainbows include all of the colors, and pride is about including all people. Pride celebrates love, uniqueness, and the freedom to be yourself. And this month, on Saturday, June 11th, Acadiana is having its first ever Pride Parade downtown in Lafayette, and there will be a lot of activities for the whole family to enjoy. I know I'm looking forward to it, so hopefully you can go too. So before we get started with this project, I wanted to tell you a little bit about myself. Again, my name is Sam Vrubel, and I'm a professional artist. The kind of art that I'm known for is called Vichnanki which is the traditional art of paper cutting that comes from the country of Poland. I cut paper with scissors to create colorful designs. If you want to learn more about Vichnanki and try your own Vichnanki project, you can check out the video I did on this channel back in February, which is called Paper Cut Valentine. Today we are doing something a little different, but what I like most about Vichnanki is using paper to create art and working with lots of bright colors. And those are things that we're gonna be doing in our project today. So first, let's talk about one of my favorite things, colors. A rainbow has all of the colors in it. Some people talk about seven colors in the rainbow and some talk about six. Today we are gonna focus on six, three primary colors and three secondary colors. Primary means first or most important. Primary colors are the three main colors and without primary colors, the other colors wouldn't exist. The three primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. Can you think of things of each of these colors? When I think of red, the first thing that comes to mind is crawfish. Yum, I ate some crawfish a couple weeks ago and they were really good. Let's see, what else is red? Fire trucks are red, roses are red. There's some yummy fruits like strawberries, cherries, apples. What else can you think of? Can you think of some other red things that I didn't mention? The next primary color is yellow. Yellow like the sun in the sky, right? What else can you think of that's yellow? I can think of sunflowers, daffodils, a lot of wildflowers that are in my yard right now. Um, there's yellow squash lemons and lemonade. Can you think of any more? The last of the primary colors is blue. What are some blue things? I'm wearing a blue shirt. Uh, the sky is blue. So is the ocean. My car is blue. There's blue birds, blue berries, blue jeans. Maybe you've seen a painting by George Rodriguez that has one of his famous blue dogs. What else can you think of that's blue? So like I said earlier, the three primary colors that we just talked about, red, yellow, and blue, 
are the reason that we have the other colors. So when you mix two primary colors together, you get what we call a secondary color. So if you mix the primary colors of red and yellow, you get the color orange. That's why when you see a rainbow, orange is between red and yellow. What can you think of that's orange? I think the obvious one is oranges, right? <laughs> and let's see, tigers are orange, sweet potatoes are orange, a lot of beautiful butterflies that I've seen lately are orange. Can you think of some other orange things? So the next one is made if you mix yellow and blue, you get the secondary color green. So lots of things are green right now, especially now it's summertime, you can look outside, you'll see the green grass, you'll see the, the green leaves on the trees. Um, let's see, alligators are green and frogs are green. Lots of tasty vegetables are green too, like broccoli and okra, cabbage, spinach. Can you think of any more green things? And then the last secondary color we have is made when you mix blue and you mix red, then you get purple, also known as violet. Purple is the last color in the rainbow. And purple is one of the Mardi Gras colors. It's one of the colors of the LSU Tigers. There's a lot of purple flowers I can think of, inclu including some of the Louisiana irises that grow here. Lately, I've been picking blackberries, which are kind of like a dark purple. Sometimes grapes are purple too. Can you think of other purple things? So now we have the primary colors and the secondary colors all together to make a rainbow. So I'm going to pull out my collage again so we can go through all of them. Oops. <laughs> so we have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. So now we're gonna take what we learned and make a rainbow collage just like this one. A collage is made from gluing paper cutouts to a backing to make a complete piece of art. So here's what you're going to need for this project. You're gonna need some colorful magazines. This is what you're gonna use as your paper. So make sure that the magazines you have have lots of color in them. And also, this is really important, make sure you ask permission to cut up these magazines. You don't wanna use a magazine that you or somebody else wants to keep because we're gonna cut these all up. And if you don't have any magazines, sometimes you can use the ads that come in the mail or um, I'm using a lot of seed catalogs that I get for my garden because those have lots of color in them. So you can be creative and look for things like magazines. So the next thing we need is scissors for cutting up the magazine. I'm using the scissors that I like, but you should use whatever scissors that you like best and that are safest for you. And if cutting is hard for you, that's no problem at all. You can have the grown-up that's helping you with this project cut out the items for you. The most important thing for you to do is to look for the colors that we just talked about and to pick out the items to be cut out. It's okay if somebody else cuts them out for you. So next we need our base for the collage. You're gonna wanna have some kind of poster board or thicker paper, or you can even use the inside of a cereal box. You want something probably a little bit thicker since you're gonna be gluing a lot of things to it. You're gonna need some glue or glue stick works really well for this. It's a little less messy. You can even use double-sided tape if that's what you have. 
you're gonna need a pencil to draw out some guidelines before we start gluing everything down. And you're also gonna need some scrap paper. It can just be regular printer paper. Um, we can put that down when we're gluing and also use that to sort of smooth everything down at the end. And the last thing is optional, but it's pretty helpful. So if you have some envelopes, six to be exact, um, this can help you organize what you're cutting out for the collage because we're gonna be cutting out six things of each color. So it can be a lot to keep track of. So envelopes work well. You can also use paper plates or even little pieces of paper and just write the names of all the colors on the envelopes or the plates or whatever you're using. And then you can use that to put the items in each envelope. And that's just a good way to keep it organized for your project. So now comes the fun part, the scavenger hunt. You're gonna look through magazines and pick out at least six things of each of the six colors. This will take a while, so at some point I'm gonna tell you you can pause the video and come back when you're done, but I'll look for a few with you first though and show you how I do it. So like I said earlier, I really like seed catalogs for this project because there are so many colorful fruits, vegetables, and flowers in these catalogs. So the first color in our rainbow is red. So what I do is I can look through and find red things. You can also do them all at once if you want, like you could cut out this for purple. But right now I'm gonna focus on red. So here are some red beets. That might look good. So again, double check that you're allowed to cut up these magazines. <laughs> um, one thing you can do to make the cutting easier is you can tear out the whole page or just cut sort of generally and move it around so that you don't hurt yourself when you're cutting it. And then we can cut it down to a smaller size later. So you also want to think about how big your mounting the base for your um, project is. Mine is only this big, and we're gonna divide this into six parts. So each color is only gonna have a small section. If you're using a big poster board, then you'll have space for bigger things. But since I don't have too much space, I'm just gonna cut out this little truck and the beats that are sitting on it. And you don't have to cut it out exactly, you can just cut like a square around it or just a general shape. You just want most of what you cut out to have that color. So I'm gonna put that aside and keep looking. So you, as you can see, there's already, I'm seeing so many of the colors. There's some green Brussels sprouts here. There's some, look at that, blue rice it looks like. There's some yellow and orange, some orange carrots, purple carrots, look at that. Lots and lots of color in, in these. And food magazines will be good too. I think these red flowers are really pretty, so I'm gonna cut those out. And again, if you wanna make it easier for yourself, you can just tear out this whole page and then it's a little bit safer to cut it. So I'm just gonna cut out the red flowers right on top of the vase here. I don't want the whole thing. And like I mentioned earlier, the most important part for you to do is to go through and find things of all the different colors that you're looking for. 
So it is totally fine to ask a grown up to help you cut everything out. So we want to find at least six things of each color. And we might not use all six things, but it's good to have some options. So I'm gonna cut out this bowl of goji berries. So now, now I have three red things so far. Let me move this other collage to the side. I'm gonna pull out a different magazine to look through. So this is a travel magazine. You can see a lot of these I've already cut things out because this is actually a project that I like to do on my own a lot of times. So let's see, some, some magazines have less pictures like this one and that's okay. There's some red flowers there, that might be a good option got a red shirt on but I already kind of cut that one up <laughs> it can be fun just to look at all the different pictures so pink is actually just light red so you can also pick pink things for this and I think that's a cool looking pink butterfly so I'm going to tear that page out and cut out this butterfly. I'm going to trim it just a little bit. Here's another seed catalog. Tomatoes. Tomatoes are red and beautiful. Let's cut out some tomatoes. I think probably every time I make this project, I end up using tomatoes for red because they're just so bright and so beautiful and so perfect for this project. So here's our little collection. I'm gonna get one more thing. Red flowers. Ooh, red raspberries. Let's get some of those. this case out. And cut out these raspberries. So now I have six things cut out for red. So like I said, earlier you can have envelopes or paper plates or some way even little pieces of paper that just have the names of the colors on them so i'm going to take my red envelope and collect these and put them all in there to organize them for later when we put the whole thing together so now is a good time to pause the video and go find six things of all the other colors. So again, we have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. And we want six things of each of these six colors. 
So pause the video and I'll meet you back here when you're ready to make the collage out of what you cut out. Okay, so hopefully you have everything cut out now. And now I'm gonna show you how to make the collage. So this is my base paper. Uh, like I said, you can use something a lot bigger if you wanna go nuts with it. That's totally up to you. You can use something smaller. Um, this is just what I'm using. This is what I have space for today. And this is just a regular size um, piece of paper, eight and a half by 11. So we have six colors, right? So we want to divide this paper into six sections. And this does not have to be perfect. You can use a ruler if you want to, but it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just gonna eyeball it. So first we wanna draw a line right in the middle. So I'm gonna use some dots just to sort of eyeball it before I draw the line. And that looks good. Put another one up top. And I'm gonna go ahead and just draw this line down the middle. So now, we want to have, we need two more lines on either side of the middle line. So I'm gonna draw two dots. And the idea is to have the space between all the dots be pretty equal. You can definitely have a grown up help you with this. And again, it doesn't have to be exactly perfect. We haven't even glued anything down yet. It's just to give yourself an idea of where everything is gonna go. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm gonna put two dots, try to make it spaced out evenly. And these lines don't even have to be straight. You want them to be kind of straight, but we're gonna cover all this up with paper. And then if you want, um, you can have a grown up help you. Um, I'm just gonna write the names of all the colors in order so it'll help me stay organized. So the first color is red. And the next color, which is a mix of red and yellow, is orange. Then as I just said, yellow is the next color, which is one of our primary colors. After yellow comes green. Oops. Which is a mix of yellow and blue. And last we have purple. All right. So that is the base and we're going to use that to glue everything down to. So I have my envelopes with all my different colors on them. And in each of these envelopes, I have at least six items of each color. So first I have red. So I cut some out earlier and then we have the ones that we cut out together. So I'm gonna spread some of these out here. Some of these are really big and I might not use those. I have lots of options to choose from. There's some of the ones that we had earlier. So I'm gonna take some scrap paper. I'm gonna sort of slide it under here so that you can see it. And I'm just gonna start gluing these items in the section that I made for red. So they can overlap. I kind of think it looks nice that way. So I'm gonna start with this bowl of goji berries. And I'm just gonna put some glue stick on the back. If you're using white glue, you just wanna use little dots. And it can go over the line like I have here. It's all gonna overlap in the end. Let's see, I'm gonna put this this mannequin with a nice red outfit. I'm even gonna go over the edge of the paper a little bit. That's, that's allowed. And you're the artist. You can do it however you want. There's these cute red stripy pants. We 
of these raspberries. As you can see, I'm not using a whole bunch of glue even, and I'm definitely overlapping everything. I'm gonna finish it off with this red pepper. Okay, so you see how that works? Then we're gonna keep going with all of the colors. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do exactly what I did for red and do it for all the colors. And feel free to pause the video at any point if you need more time. So now you have your rainbow collage. I'm gonna take a piece of scrap paper and I'm gonna put it over the whole thing. And I'm just gonna press down like this to make sure that all the glue really goes down flat and that there's not any extra glue that's coming out of uh, from under the paper anywhere. And there you have it. You're gonna wanna make sure the glue dries first, but then you can hang it up somewhere or give it to someone or do whatever you want with it. And as I said before, you can do big sizes, you can do small sizes, you can even have your baseboard be different shapes. So you could cut out a big heart or a circle and try to work within that. You can also make a collage that is all just one color, like maybe an all green collage or you could just pick two colors or do primary colors like red, yellow, and blue together. You're the artist 
and you get to decide what you want to make. So now you can take what you learned today and go forward and make whatever kind of collage that you want to make. So I hope you had fun making this rainbow collage with me today. I know that I enjoyed it. Look at all these bright, beautiful colors. And I hope you have a happy Pride Month and maybe I'll see you at Pride Day. Thanks so much and be sure to come back next week for a new virtual art studio class. Bye.